In this video, we will be talking about the film star of the 2005 movie Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This film will be divided into the introduction, cinematography, sound and editing section. Pride and Prejudice is a love story between Elizabeth and Darcy in the class-conscious England of the last 18th century. It is a romance and drama genre movie directed by Joe Wright that received 13 wins and 59 nominations. Cinematography is the science and art of making motion picture photography. Exposure, composition, camera movement, camera angles, and colors are the five fundamental components of cinematography. In the beginning scene of Pride and Prejudice, there is an establishing shot used to show us that the scene has a relationship between the character by using Dolby zoom out from Bennett's house and some other establishing shots throughout the whole movie to set the scene. In this scene, the camera angle is higher than the Bennett's eye level, while maintaining the same eye level as Darcy, Bingley and Caroline, implying that they have a higher social status than the Bennett's. Three of them are totally different from the others. In the dancing scene in this movie, they use medium close-up to film Darcy and Elizabeth dancing but only focus on them and blur out the other dancers. 180 degree rule is also used to help audience keep track of where the characters are in the scene. Besides, the camera tracks Darcy or Elizabeth when they are talking, making the audience know who is talking. In this scene, lighting and colors are used perfectly to show that Elizabeth waited for a long time as the sunlight from the window fades away. And the light slowly reflects naturally on her half face, presenting a cinematic and gloomy scene. While Darcy is talking to her, Elizabeth is blurred to let the audience focus on Darcy. The lighting from the sleeping scene of Elizabeth is also a beautiful scene that suddenly transits into the next scene. Using the same color from the candlelight, reflecting on Elizabeth's face and transiting to the next scene when Elizabeth also closes her eyes while standing on a cliff. Music, speech, sound effects, ambient noise, background noise, and soundtracks all fall under the category of sound in movies. The usage of sound improves the viewing experience of audience. The joyful piano music starts when the girls know Mr. Bingley will join the bone next day, coordinating with their happy screams indicating that it is great news for them and they feel so excited to attend the bowl. In the scene where Elizabeth leaves Mr. Bingley's home, Mr. Darcy holds her hand helping her get on the carriage. The wind and the bird chip sound shapes a harmonious atmosphere but also highlighted Mr. Darcy's anxiety by adding hurried footstep sound and cutting in his nervous hand. Other than that, when Elizabeth walks into Mr. Darcy's house, the peaceful music starts, with the scene of Darcy's magnificent home interior giving the viewers breathtaking visual and sound effects, representing that Mr. Darcy is from an affluent family. The scene of Mr. Darcy proposing to Elizabeth starts with a very tense background music and thunder sound that gives us the feeling of their emotions are very strong. Their conflict and misunderstanding are too deep. And this is the moment that Elizabeth finally cannot bear to ask him why. Elizabeth didn't accept his confession in the end and the loud raindrop sound is hinting the audience that their relationship turned out to be bad. The art and craft of editing involve cutting and putting together a final film. It is essential to fuse visuals and sounds so that we can feel emotionally involved. The cheat cut in this scene is used to show viewers to watch the continuous conversation between Jane and Elizabeth under a sheet, giving the illusion of being under the sheet. Fade in also appears when Elizabeth walks near Miss Georgiana's room when she is playing piano. The closer she nears the room, the louder the piano sound is. The eye level match that appears at the beginning of the movie also lets the audience know what is Elizabeth seeing through her eyes by matching the correct eye level of Elizabeth when shooting. In conclusion, Pride and Prejudice is a very aesthetic movie to me. Feel like all the things are just in time and it is visually stunning without CGI. All the effort from the production team makes this movie a masterpiece in audience heart. This is all from me, thanks for watching!